I'd possibly have another 100 inches, 53 inches, and then over by East Quincy, possibly 34 inches. Now, what does this equal in rain accumulation? 4.61 there. 11.29 there. We go down to Red Bluff. You're talking about 5.78. We come down to Chico. You're talking about possibly 5.06. We go down to Yuba City. Hello, Steve. I hope all is well. 2.43 possibly there for you, Steve, and everybody else that lives in Yuba City. 4.26 possibly. This is rain accumulation and I'm sure this is new snow as we talked about earlier. Not really. Grass Valley is going to get a lot of rain possibly coming. And this could possibly roll into Lake Folsom. So we will see ultimately. We go over to the, the Truckee. And you're talking about 30 inches. We come over to Carson City, 14 inches. South Lake Tahoe, 31 inches. Bear Valley down here, 50 inches. And we go back to the GFS to see if this is even remotely. They're talking about half this amount. So we will see which one wins out. Once again, Europeans being extremely bullish on this one this is good news for the colorado look at this possibly another 18 inches who knows we definitely need this this is for certain they are they are definitely the third lowest last time we did a video we will be looking at that tomorrow on march 1st so this is what we got going on what do you guys think let's get in on the conversation tonight you guys tell me your thoughts you tell me if you think this is going to be an extreme event or just a dud we will see time will tell let's roll out to the lakes and see what's going on first up is Lake Berryessa tonight. As we roll out to Lake Berryessa, you can see that they're still above full pool. They are slightly above this, and I'm working on a new model that will show historical inflows compared to real inflows. Uh, they they lag about a week behind on their inflow outflow, so we will be trying to predict as close as possible with the inflows and the outflows going forward. Today's water level is 441.11 feet, and that was on Friday, February 28, 2025 at 3 p.m the level is 1.11 feet above the glory hole of 440 changes since yesterday the lake is down 0.08 feet over the last 24 hours so it continues to fall as we figured it might over the last seven days the lake is down 0.63 feet over the last 14 days the lake is down 1.88 feet over the last 30 days the lake is up 3.97 feet and over the last six months the lake is up 9.60 feet over the last year the lake is up 4.84 feet and once again i am working on estimated inflows we'll see if i can get that done this weekend possibly and then your next california date maybe we'll have some estimated inflows and outflows let's roll out to your three-year bar graph next as we roll out to your three-year bar graph you can see 440 is your full pool in 2023 we we're looking at a level of 414.21 feet last year we were looking at a level of 436.27 feet in 2025 we're looking at 441. 11 and your dead pool there is 253 feet and let's roll out to percentage of capacity next as we roll out to percentage of capacity you are currently above so it'd be 101.37 percent let's roll over to lake Folsom next as we roll out to lake Folsom, you can see that it's still trending down just as it has in the past the current water level is 432.48 feet and that was on friday february 28 2025 at 3 p.m the level is 33.52 feet Below full pool of 466 changes since yesterday. The lake is down 0.62 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is down 4.60 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is up 1.04 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 35.46 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is up 14.95 feet. And over the last year, the lake is up 3.17 feet. Inflows are currently 4,518, and your outflows are currently 4. 4,481. Next to the three-year bar graph, we go next. As we roll out to the three-year bar graph, you can see 466 is your full pool. In 2023, we were looking at a level of 422.85 feet. Last year, we were looking at a level of 429.31 feet. And of course, today, we're looking at a level of 432.48 feet. Deadpool there is a level of 300, and we continue to scoot along here as we go out to percentage of capacity next. As we roll out to percentage of capacity, you can see that the current percentage of capacity is 
65.10%. And we go out to New Bollard's Bar next. As we roll out to New Bollard's Bar, you can see it's starting to drop again. We are currently looking at a level of 1,926.63 feet. And that was on Friday, February 28th, 2025. At 3 p.m., the level is 28.37 feet below full pool of 1,955. Changes since yesterday. The lake is down 0.57 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is down 2.67 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 0.23 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 12.23 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is up 32.13 feet. And over the last year, the lake's up 10.23 feet. Inflows are currently 2,310, and your outflows are currently 3,290. Three-year bar graph is next. As we roll out to the three-year bar graph, you can see 1,955 is your full pool level. In 2023, we're looking at a level of 1,917.16 feet. Last year, we were looking at a level of 1,916.40 feet. And of course, today, just as stated earlier, 1,926.63 feet. Dead pool is 1,700. We go out to percentage of capacity next. As we roll out to percentage of capacity, you can see we are currently looking at 86.11%. And we go up to Lake Trinity next. As we roll up to Lake Trinity, you can see it's starting to increase just as stated slightly. You can see right here, it's coming up slightly. We are currently looking at 2,342.77 feet. And that was on Friday, February 28th, 2025 at 3 p.m. The level is 27.23 feet below full pool of 2,370. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0.07 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is up 1.09 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is up 0 0.60 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 8.35 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is up 13.97 feet. And over the last year, the lake is up 18.44 feet. Inflows are currently 4,806. As I said, inflows would increase with the, the warmer temperatures, the snow starting to melt. And your outflows are currently 2,652. Up to the three-year bar graph, we go next. As we roll out to the three-year bar graph, the top of the glory holds 2,370 points. 10 feet. In 2023, we were looking at a level of 2,230.70 feet. Last year, we were looking at a level of 2,324.33 feet. And today, we're looking at a level of 2,342.77 feet. Dead pool there is 2,100. Percentage of capacity is next. As we roll out to percentage of capacity, we are currently looking at a percent of 82.80%. And we go over to Lake Shasta next. As you can see, the roller coaster continues here. We are we peaked. Now we're going down. Now we're starting to come back up. And our current water level, as you can see, is 1,030.87 feet. And that was on Friday, February 28th, 2025 at 3 p.m. The level is 36.13 feet below full pool of 1,067. Changes since yesterday, the lake is up 0 0.57 feet over the last 24 hours. Over the last seven days, the lake is up 2.13 feet. Over the last 14 days, the lake is down 5. 0.35 feet. Over the last 30 days, the lake is up 2.69 feet. Over the last six months, the lake is up 21.94 feet. And over the last year, the lake is down 8.18 feet. Inflows are currently 10,308 and your outflows are currently 713. Three-year bar graph is next. As we roll out to your three-year bar graph, 1,067 is your full pool. In 2023, we are looking at a level of 996.22 feet. Last year, we were looking at at a level of 1,039.05 feet. 2025 today, 1,030.87 feet. And Deadpool is 737.75 feet. Percentage of capacity is next. As we roll out to percentage of capacity, you're looking at 78.10% down to Lake Oroville for our final stop this evening. As we roll out to Lake Oroville, you can see it's kind of flatlined. We're currently looking at 861. It's a little bit lower than last year as seen in the graph here. You can see that we are slightly lower, but we're way higher than we were 
in 2023. Current water level is 861.85 feet. And that was on Friday, February 28th, 2025 at 3 p.m. The level is 38.15 feet below full pool of 900 changes since yesterday. The lake is down 0.08 feet over the last 24 hours. The lake is also down 0.63 feet over the last seven days. The lake is up 3.18 feet over the last 14 days. The lake is also up 21.63 feet over the last 30 days. The lake is up 42.40 feet over the last six months. And the lake is slightly up over the last year 0.31 feet. And inflows are currently 10,498. And their outflows are currently 10,267. So they're trying to keep it similar, but it's trending downwards currently. Let's go to your three year bar graph next. As we roll out to the three year bar graph, you can see that your full pool level there is 900. In 2023, we are looking at a level of 832.16 feet. Last year, we were looking at a level of 861.54 feet. And today, we're looking at 861.85 feet, slightly above. Deadpool there is currently and always 640. And percentage of capacity for our final stop this evening. As we roll out to percentage of capacity, we are currently looking at 80. 83.73%. Thank you guys for stopping by. Please share this with a friend and get the word out. This could be something to talk about coming up or it could be a dud. What do you guys think? Let me know below. Have a blessed day. We'll see you on the next one. God bless.